Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before I and mean, if you haven't been here before really subscribe to be a part of the bilingual family which is mostly me trying to speak and this is the intro that I do every single time so in today's video I wanted to do or I wanted to show you my cream products collection every single cream product I wanted to shoot this video because I have pretty much in 2020 expanded my cream collection to like a, a, a ridiculous amount <laughs> basically whenever I would buy something that was base related and when it came down to like bronzer highlighter and especially blush I went for a cream formula over a powder formula creams just work better on my skin because they provide the moisture and the sheeniness that my skin is lacking sometimes so that is what we're going to do today i basically have all of my cream products in a box right now So the category that I actually have the least of when it comes to cream formulas is bronzers. The first one is the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer and I have the shade Butter Biscuit. I have talked about this bronzer so much already because it is one of my favorite cream bronzers of all time. I say that whilst I only have two. In general, it is one of my favorite bronzers of all time, powder or cream. It's such a beautiful formula. It's quite emollient, it's quite creamy, but it has a certain kind of translucency to it that still allows your sh skin to come through and actually show. It, it's not just an opaque layer of paint on your face, it adds, it adds a shadow, it adds warmth and it adds glowiness. <laughs> and whilst it looks glowy on the skin, it's not really greasy, it's also like quite long wearing actually. Um, it is a very long wearing formula which is what I like. It has a satin finish but it sets down onto the skin really nicely. And yeah, this is just one of my all-time favorite bronzers. I have so many many videos and just blog posts of where I use this. I recently did a full face of Fenty where I also use this product so if you want to see it in action that's where you need to go. The, the Nude Sticks Nudies All Over Face Color in Bondi Bay. Now I purchased this because a lot of people that I follow on YouTube really really enjoyed this bronzer and I have to mention that I do like the formula, I just don't necessarily like the color on me. I wish they would extend the shade range of these bronzers. It's a matte formula and it doesn't give any sheen on the skin, but it's really pretty uh, in terms of like the finish. It's a very natural finish on the skin and it really looks like a second skin in terms of finish. And if you don't like a bronzer that is too luminous and dewy then you might actually like this because of the matte formula like i said i don't necessarily love the color because it is quite uh, intense on me it's a very pigmented formula and the color itself is also just a little bit too dark for me personally there's no patchiness but because it's quite pigmented like it doesn't have any translucency to it like the fancy one does this is really like on an opaque layer of paint on your skin but nonetheless when you use it wisely when you don't use too much of this product and please do not apply this like that because I see that so many times and it drives me crazy because you're just going to use too much product so make sure to just use a sponge or a brush and then apply it to your face don't apply it straight from the stick so when it comes to cream bronzers the fancy one is definitely my favorite but I do also really like the nude six one the next category is uh, yet again not necessarily my favorite category when it comes to makeup uh, especially when it comes to powder I dislike most of these but when it comes to the cream version I love it it is so much better highlighters in a cream formula or a liquid formula is everything that you could want and need from a highlighter it gives you the glossiness the dewiness the luminosity the metallicness if you want it without the added con of putting emphasis on texture that you have which is something that a highlighter will inevitably do but also without it looking too dry on your skin just chunky and not flattering and without leaving a stripe if you pick the right color and this is the essence glow glow go instant highlighter dewy finish in seconds i recently used it in a like trying new makeup kind of video i'll link it somewhere 
above and if I forget it will be linked down below as well but I used um, this in there and I wasn't necessarily impressed uh, it's a very very natural formula in the sense that it almost leaves no shine and sponge or brush seems to soak it up completely so it's so natural to the point that it's almost invisible and it kind of makes this pointless it also when you put it on your skin it also dries down really quickly and i feel like this is more of like a shimmery formula that is kind of drying in a sense yeah it's just not my favorite formula that i have tried i think it's because it's just a little bit too watery so this is new it's very uh, affordable but unfortunately it's just not my favorite product now this product is my favorite this product is my favorite highlighter hands down okay this is where shit is at unfortunately it's discontinued <laughs> it was a limited edition this is the Nabla glowy skin stick and i have the shade beige mirage or beige mirage it's just the most beautiful formula and i'm showing this even though it's limited edition because i'm hoping that Nabla will bring these back i need these to be permanently in their collection and i'm hoping because cream blush and cream highlighters just creams in general are so extremely popular right now that nabla listened and followed that trend and bring these back so from something that i love to death to something that i could probably miss in my collection but i do want to mention it because i've had it for quite a long time uh, it's also a product that might be good for oily skin so this is the abh liquid glow and i have the shade <laughs> and i have the shade perla so this is a liquid highlighter that is extremely intense it's definitely metallic and it has that kind of liquidy formula the funny thing is that once you actually put this on your skin it starts to dry down almost immediately like it sets so quickly it's actually insane how quickly this sets so you have to work quite quickly as well but the end result is a beautiful sheen that is a little bit more intense than my other ones i do like using this it's just that i don't necessarily like the way that it makes my skin look from time to time because it does dry down and it doesn't really provide the moisture that my dry skin needs from time to time but i think if you have oily skin and you're really excited about the cream trend right now this is definitely a good one to try out next up is a new cream or a liquid highlighter in my collection that i haven't necessarily tried all that much recently because i've been busy <laughs> this is the soda makeup hashtag time to glow glowy skin finisher and i have the shade i have absolutely no idea like a diamond which is basically let me check again i think it's like a lavender kind of pearly shade so it seems like a very similar formula to both essence and like abh it seems like a mix it has the same texture and like consistency of the abh one but it seems to do the exact same thing as the essence one which is you put it on your skin and you like i don't see anything <laughs> but this is something that i have to try out a little bit more but it's in my collection so i wanted to show you but anyway a highlighter that is actually a paired with a blush is the Kosas Velvet Melon Color and Light Cream and I have Velvet Melon as a shade. So basically the highlighter is this one, obviously this is the blush that we'll talk about later, but this is as close as you can get to the Nabla highlighter. It's such a beautiful formula. It's definitely a little bit more like uh, creamy and waxy than the Nabla one because obviously the Nabla one is a stick form and this is in like a little bit of a pot like in a pan but the sheen that this gives is insane it is such a good beautiful highlighter again it has that translucency so you don't see any kind of like color deposit on your skin you just see a really nice sheen I love this so much and it's the closest thing that I have found to the Nabla one so really good one now my final highlighter this is technically not a highlighter this is the Waleda skin food and it's basically a moisturizer I'm not gonna lie it's a moisturizer it's a really thick 
and heavy moisturizer. But the reason that I use this as a liquid or cream highlighter is because of the fact that it is because of the fact that when I put this all over my face, it looks too glowy for my liking. It is almost like I'm looking greasy, especially on the forehead and like on the chin. And I also don't necessarily like the consistency to apply on my entire face. The other thing is that this seems to have a little bit of a shimmer going through it, which is probably why it looks maybe a little bit too greasy for all over the skin. But it makes the high points and the nose and just like where you put highlighter, it makes those look amazing and it moisturizes your skin at the same time. It has a little bit of a citrus scent as well, which I really appreciate, but like I said, it leaves a beautiful sheen on the face, and for me, it doesn't have like any kind of color because obviously it's almost the same color as my skin, and I just love the way that this is almost like a liquid highlighter, but it's a moisturizer. But I use it as a highlighter because it has that sheen and it just moisturizes my face at the same time. I know it sounds weird, but this is really wonderful. So now we're going to actually start with the big part of this collection. Before 2020, I think the only blush that I had was the one from Nabla that I'm going to talk about in a minute. But because I have dry skin, powder also just doesn't really work that well for me. So. I found cream blush and I never went back. By the way, when it comes down to the highlighters, the Nabla one is obviously my favorite. The closest one, because it is the closest thing to the Nabla one, is obviously my second favorite. Really, really recommend those two. So the first blush that I want to talk about is the Patrick Ta Double Take Cream and Powder Blush and I have the shade She So LA. Now I have to say that I'm gonna, only going to talk about the cream blush, obviously, today. Uh, it's a product that I've been wanting for a really long time and during Black Friday I finally picked it up. I finally picked it up. Uh, it's something that I've seen a lot of people just really liking and I have to say that the cream formula is such a beautiful formula and actually reminds me a little bit of the uh, Fenty formula that I'm going to talk about later. It has a waxy consistency, but it doesn't feel too oily or greasy on the skin, and it seems to dry down to a satin kind of finish, which is beautiful in my opinion. I'm going to have to do a complete review on this product and kind of, you know, collect my full thoughts on this, but I do really enjoy it and I really like the color of it. Next up are the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Cream Blushes, and I have three shades of this. So I'm not going to talk about these for too long because I've done a full face of Fenty and I went into a in-depth review. The formula is the same as the bronzer. I would say that they are just as creamy, just as emollient, but they do have slightly more of like a pigmentation to them than the bronzer does, which is amazing, obviously. Uh, they have a satin finish and they're also slightly more dewy than the bronzer. They really give like a beautiful sheen to the face, which I love so much. <laughs> and they are also quite long lasting on the cheeks as well. These these are probably amongst my favorite like blushes. I really, really like them. Next up is the Milani Cheek Kiss and I have the shade Coral Crush. So Coral Crush is, my goodness, intense. It is uh, a really nice kind of like peachy pink. It's definitely a pink. It looks a little bit more peachy in real life and it's definitely like a really bright shade. So I use this for the absolutely the first time in my like trying new makeup video where I also use the essence highlighter and as you could see in that video this is extremely pigmented but it blends out really really nicely and quite quickly despite the pigment that I deposited on my face it's sheeny it definitely leaves like a sheen on your skin but it's not tacky on the skin which I really really appreciate uh, it's also quite emollient to the touch and it has slightly more of like a hard feeling to it. So it really has to warm up to your fingers or your skin and then it blends into the skin quite nicely. If you're someone that doesn't necessarily like something that is extremely glowy and you like something that is extremely pigmented, you're definitely going to like these. Next up is the MUA Makeup Academy Blush Liquid Cream Blush and I have the shade Taupe Tango. So 
As you can see from the packaging, this is supposed to be a Glossier dupe. This is a really nice blush, and even though it looks like it's full, I think it's halfway through. This is a blush that I actually use quite a bit. It is a really beautiful color, and I love the fact that this one is more sheer than my other blushes that I have in my collection. This one is really, really buildable, and you can go from sheer to, like, very blushy. <laughs> Again, this one also has an opacity, a translucency to it that I really appreciate. So you can definitely see my skin underneath if I have like any kind of blemishes. It's not going to cover those up, but I do feel like it is providing moisture. This is quite a dewy formula and it is making my skin look really nice and natural. The finish on the skin is definitely natural and for the price that you pay, this is actually such a good product, but it smells like candy, which is something that I don't like, but that's that's just me. <laughs> Next up again is the Kaisa's Color and Light Cream in Velvet Melon, and this time we're gonna talk about the blush side. So I have the shade Velvet Melon. As you can see, I have reached the bottom of this product, and that is because I am so in love with this blush formula. This formula is creamy, waxy, buildable, sheer to high coverage, blushy, glowing to the gods, natural on the skin. This product in general is such a recommendation that I want to give to you. It's extremely creamy to the touch. It doesn't need any kind of like warming up. It's good with fingers. It's good with a brush. It's good with a sponge. It doesn't really matter how you apply this. It's going to blend out. It's not cakey on the skin and it actually makes the skin look moisturized. It look, makes it look moist. I know you guys don't like that word, but it makes it look mo moist. The color is, as you can see, kind of like a peachy orange, but it's not too orange where it doesn't look natural anymore. So a recent discovery in my collection is the Tower 28 Beach Please Luminous Tinted Balm. So this is a product that I recently reviewed on my channel. So if you wanna see what I fully think of it, Go watch that video. It's a balmy kind of formula like the product itself says. It's a tinted balm that you can use on the cheeks, the eyes, the lips. It dries out really, really quickly. So it's one that definitely needs to be warmed up first before you apply it. And then when you apply it to the skin, it actually is more of like a satin kind of finish. It leaves a sheen on your face, but it also sticks to where you put it once you've blended it out. So it adheres to the skin quite nicely and it stays put and therefore it's also quite um, a long wearing kind of formula. On me, it is a very, very pigmented. Like you could see in the video, you can build it up from being a sheer formula to a very high coverage formula. And I really, really enjoy this formula. I love the packaging. Like I said, if you wanna see more of my thoughts on this product, I would recommend checking out that video. But I think in the future, I'm definitely gonna pick up some more shades of this formula. Now, this is a product that I took so long to purchase this and it is actually fantastic. The only thing that I don't necessarily like that much is the color. So this is the Nude Stick Nudies Matte All Over Face Blush Color and I have the shade Salty Siren. This color was a collaboration with Estée Lalonde. I don't know if I say that right, but it's a beautiful, beautiful blush. Like, it's almost like the bronzer, but the bronzer has more of that opaqueness to it. This is a little bit more translucent and therefore for me, 10 out of 10. It's very, very pigmented, so you definitely get pigment if you want to have it but at the same time it's buildable you can again go from I would say you can go light not necessarily this is never going to be sheer but because it doesn't have enough of that like opacity that translucency that other blushes have but it's gonna give you a light to like high coverage if you want it to be it's definitely creamy once you like apply it to the skin again do it with fingers do it with a brush do it with a sponge don't do it like this i just don't do it please 
it blends out quite nicely and uh, while the other bronzer like the bronzer is more of a matte formula i think this is bordering on like satin to satin matte i think it's more of a satin matte because it does leave a little bit of a sheen like the slightest bit of a sheen on my face and it doesn't make my face look dry which is something that i appreciate even though it's a matte formula the color itself is just maybe a little bit too pink for my liking but i still think it's a beautiful like spring color and i still use this quite a bit despite the color so next up is rare beauty i have two of the blushes from rare beauty i have a matte version and i have a dewy version so these are the liquid blushes i've also seen that they can came out with cream blushes so first the matte version the matte version um is matte as you would expect it it's quite pigmented i have the shade bliss which is basically like a neutrally pink it's a beautiful formula extremely pigmented so be aware of that you don't need a lot of this product for it to look really nice on your skin but it blends out quite nicely it fades in like into your skin nicely and it meshes really well with the products that you use the dewy formula is even more pigmented especially this shade joy you can easily go overboard with this one so i would be really really careful when you like use this product it, again it's also one that blends out really really nicely it's like when you apply the right amount of pigmentation that you want to it's going to blend out really nicely it's very long wearing and they look quite natural on the skin which is something that i really really enjoy the dewy one is definitely a little bit more tacky on the skin than the matte one because obviously it's a dewy one it's going to give you more of a sheen than the matte one so finally we have the nabla one so this is again the blush skin stick i think it was again limited edition so i'm not going to talk too much about this this formula is beautiful it's actually very similar to the uh like highlighter one but it has that same beautiful formula so that was everything in my cream products collection like i said it's quite a condensed cream collection i think but those are products that I have accumulated in almost less than a year. And since then, I've just been absolutely in love with cream products. I think they are heavenly for every kind of skin type. But overall, cream products just look much better on the skin than powder products. And I am in love with my cream products collection. Like the highlighter is beautiful, bronzers I beautiful, but I have to extend that category a little bit. I think I'm just looking for really nice cream bronzers. <laughs> so if you have some cream bronzer recommendations, let me know down below. Blushes, I have enough cream blushes, even though I have a few of them coming towards me. Like a few new ones are coming towards me. So my blush, like my cream products collection is only going to be extended from here. I really hope you enjoyed this video and let me know down below in the comments what you want to see next and I'll see you next time. Bye!